Hello, good morning and good evening. My name is Amit and welcome to PISPSolution.com. Today I'm going to show you how to analyze income statement using Tableau. We would be using real data from one of the website called financials.morningstar.com and I'll be using Disney data to showcase you how to perform real data analysis using Tableau. For the sake of simplicity, the entire session I divide into multiple pieces and today we would be focusing on one small tiny analysis on income statement and as we go on we'll continue talking about balance sheet, profit loss statement, advanced predictive analytics as well. So let me take you to the side from where I like to take the data. So uh, this is the site from where I have taken the data and as you see uh, I'm looking at the financial data for Walt Disney and there are income state and balance sheet and cash flow. I like to continue to focus on income statement first. As you see this web page give me a couple of options to analyze my data but not in a rich format. I can select for how many years, what order, whether I like to see currency or in percentage perform some decimal value and blah blah. I like to take the same data and do offer rich data analytics to my customer. So what I did first, I export all data into my Excel. There's an option for export, you can export data. And the limitation over here, the data it exported, it is not exactly the format you can use it for analysis. And therefore I need to normalize the data from Excel into the format that can be used for data analytics. So as you understand, we need to convert this in terms of dimension and facts. And all these financial elements, I would call them income statement elements or financial elements to be a generic term. And I want them to be considered as a major and time, the year should consider as a dimension. So what I did, I'll take all the financial elements and convert from rows to column. There's an option called transpose. So anything appears in column is considered to be as a major. I go for paste spatial and go for transpose. And then I take time for year, five years later. I'll show them as in my column. Again, I transpose. Then I take a combination of this and again I put it over there in a transform format. This data now it is in a format I can use it for analysis. Right, so this is how it look like eventually. Okay, so once you prepare the Excel sheet, the next step uh, is to bring this Excel sheet into your tab Leo. Right, so I go to my tab Leo and I start from beginning completely. I'm using Excel option over here. These are two data sheet I already copied into my local system. I take the data and I wanted my financial element to be considered as a major. As you see over here, revenue, cost of revenue, cross profit and all appear as a major in a column. A year appear as a row. So I want year to be considered a dimension and all of them considered a major. The one limitation you have in your source, your time dimension appears as a hierarchy, which we cannot directly do this. You look at this, operating expenses appear as a hierarchy. So you don't have direct option to create a major hierarchy. Okay. So we deal with this situation, we'll talk about how to perform this work around as well. So for the sake of simplicity, this is my data and nothing complicated in it. I take the same order as a data source order and I go to my Excel sheet. The first analysis I like to do it. I like to give revenue, cost of revenue, gross profit and blah, blah, all majors. Okay. So one simple straightforward analysis, you can do it. You also find something strange as I, there is only one instance of basics, but you see there are two instances when I am bought into my system. The reason behind this, 
in a hierarchy, parent and child has the same value. And therefore, uh, when I bought it, it appears as it, it is double instance. So you don't have to worry about it. We'll see how to handle it. Right now, we'll make it simple and put all the majors over here. This is my simple data navigation in a tabular format. But I need more meaningful analysis. On top of this, my business user can do some decision making on top of that. So what I'll do, I keep this analysis and leave up to you. You can play around with these numbers. I'll take one revenue, cost of revenue in terms of number, in terms of percentage, and like to show to my user what is my growth factor from year over year? I mean, from previous year to current year, did organization really grown up? And to what extent, what, to in what degree the, the growth is recorded? So I like to use revenue uh, and exist the same format, revenue and cost of goods sold, cost of revenue, okay? Revenue, cost of revenue. Right, I changed the order a little bit. I lost year over here. I need to drag and drop again. Sorry about that. Fine. So this is my revenue. Now what I wanted to show, I first want to add the cross total and I like to record the year over year growth factor. So we have revenue, cost of revenue, and I like to find out what is my cost of revenue percentage of revenue, right? So I'll create a computed column on top of cost of revenue. And this is what I'm going to show you in terms of year over year. We'll take a multiple instance of this and put them together into a dashboard. So I create a calculated major, create, Calvary major. So it's going to be fairly simple. Cost of revenue divided by revenue. And I call this cost of revenue percentage. And I want this to be considered as a, uh, as a percentage, not as a number. So I drag and drop and put over here, change the format. It is rounding off to one because it is of number type. Go to format and change it from number to currency or percentage. I use percentage. So I see cost of revenue is 79% of my total revenue. So naturally the remaining amount is your, your gross profit, right? So you can also drag and drop and put a gross profit over here. And this is how you get a complete picture. In the same fashion, you continue drag and drop and add more member. Right, that's a one simplified view. So my revenue, cost of revenue, gross profit, and this is a simple tabular view. But I want to make a more meaningful analysis on top of this. So here your creativity comes into picture. First, I like to show year over year growth. Okay. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a, a duplicate sheet of it and just swap the numbers. Okay, and uh, probably the other way was good. Yeah, and I use a grand total. Total display, total of column, fine. It should be 320 is wrong, so I'm going to click on this and just don't want to show this number. Hide it, right? Or I could take average of it as well. Now, what is important? I like to figure out what is year over year revenue from one year to another year, how my revenue has grown up. So, to show year over year revenue. I'll take uh, perform a table calculation on top of this and I like to see the percentage of total. What is my percentage of total? I mean, the, this is not year over year. Let me correct. This is going to talk about what is my contribution of the revenue for 
five-year total revenue. This is also I can figure out which year our revenue has recorded highest revenue. This is an alternate way. So as we see, I'll show both revenue and revenue percentage together. Very crystal clear picture. By looking at the revenue only, it is difficult to figure out. I mean, looking at the number, it is difficult to understand. But looking at person, we can quickly figure out that 2016 has got highest revenue. It means my revenue is growing indeed year, year over year. Is my cost of revenue is also growing? We'll take cost of revenue and apply table calculation on top of this as well. Hit add table calculation and percentage of total. And with respect to my specific dimension here. Perfect, so I get revenue, revenue percentage across five year and cost of revenue and cost of revenue percentage. I put them in a certain order. Perfect. So now let's slide, figure out whether my, how my revenue is growing year over year. Is my cost of revenue also growing in the same proportion? Or is my revenue is growing year over year? But my cost of revenue is not good in the same context. When I say year over year, it means I take a from 20, 2012-2013 my percentage, contribution percentage is higher, isn't it? So it's a growth. Contribution percentage is higher. Now let's do an additional analysis on top of this. Probably I visualize this so it make more sense. Duplicate sheet and uh, I use a cluster bar chart and I would remove the majors which I do not need them for now. Perfect. So this is what I wanted to see but I want to make it more meaningful so I use a dual access chart. I drag and drop and put on different access. So one of the view is your revenue which I show with the bar chart. And my cost of revenue is I show with a circle and then I'm going to change the color as well so we can quickly figure out what is what. Perfect. So this is what I can find now from 2012 to 2013, 14, 15 my revenue is continue to growing year over year or the growth percent of across five year 2016 has the highest growth percent which is close to uh, 25. Okay. But when, I, when it comes to cost of revenue for first two year it grown up and then it fall down isn't it so year over it now we can look at the integrated view of both of them I can do a lot of good uh, I mean naming convention all I've left it up to you I did not do much I put them together probably you know we can do a best fit and all there are a lot of option in um, we have in in table in dashboard which we continue to talk about this in subsequent session so I make it float I'm going to keep it next to this so I want to put them one after other and uh, so that we can do a relative analysis so I just arrange them together to give a one consistent view of the whole income statement. Naming convention all I can continue to do it. So this is what I can figure out as my um, from one year to another year my revenue is growing but my cost of revenue is not going the same fashion. It means my cost of revenue was least in 2014 as compared to other year. I mean this is in fact it is good if your cost of revenue is go reducing it will give you more opportunity to make a profit. Okay so another way around your gross profit is increasing year over year isn't it. So this is how you can do basic analysis on real data. This is just a beginning and in my subsequent session I will talk about in more detail advanced and predictive analytics on your income statement cash flow and balance sheet as well. So that's it for today. Please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and should you have any question please feel free to reach out to us.